Today. It's going to be a hot one today, it's going to be 27 degrees today. I will try not to moan. I'll try not to moan. Yes, yeah, so. Finlay's going to be out in it all day, he's got a day outside today. Ooh. What have you got today, then, Trip? A window up something here. Making a fire? Oh. They're learning about the Great Fire of London, aren't you? Yeah, so they're outside all day in this heat. Oh. Them balls, Finn, they look really cool. You see? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And big balls hung up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a bit close. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now my hand's covering the camera. No, that's not a good idea. So, yeah, bags today. And yarn, probably. Yarn and bags, yarn and bags, yarn, yarn and, and bags. bags. Yarn and bags today. And maybe some other things that I'm doing that I don't see. But yeah. Not just being in the shop. Things are a changing. Things are changing, yeah. So yeah, so thank you very much for your lovely comments. Um thank you very much for everyone who's coming to the shop. Not coming to the shop. <laughs> Um, hope you're having a great day. And if you're watching this later, I hope you had an even better day. <laughs> so stay safe, everyone. Take it easy, and we'll catch you later on. Bye. Bye, everyone. Come back from the school run, and all you can hear is Tilly squawking. So I can turn the camera around. She's at the gate, and you see her walking backwards and forwards. She's getting really cross. Bless her. Meow! <laughs> Meow! <laughs> Right, to any of the, those of you that sew, I've been sewing not very long now, a few months, and there's always, I've always had little niggles when I'm sewing that things don't quite always turn out how I want them to turn out. This bag has taught me more about sewing than what I have learned in the past six months. It was originally supposed to be for the shop, but it's taken me two and a half hours to make this bag. It has been ripped apart more times. I think I've pulled it apart four times. I kept making the most bizarre mistakes. And you know, I don't know about anybody else, but when I've learned to sew, I've just followed instructions, not really understanding why. I've learned in this bag why you need to follow the, those instructions. Everything that could have gone wrong has gone wrong with this bag. And it has been a true labor of love. So it was originally for the shop. I cannot recreate it. I had the smallest amount of material of this and this. So this is my bag because there is so much gone into it and it's got dolphins on it. Not that you can see mine. There we go. So I'm keeping her. I love it. I absolutely love it. I wasn't loving it half an hour ago and I was screaming, but I love it now. So it's not good in the shop for the reason that I've said it's been pulled apart countless times. And because of that, I've had to trim the edge of the... Um, you, uh, I was going to say uniform then because on the I'm recording on my phone and on the screen it's just popped up a notification from Aldi saying they've got the £5 uniform bundles back in. So if any of you are looking for 
uniform for the t-shirts and things Aldi are getting them back in anyway so because it's been pulled apart so many times I've had to trim away because this fabric is frayed like mad so I've had to trim away the edges so it's smaller than my standard shawl bag by about an inch on the bottom so two and a half hours to make myself a bag that's ridiculous but do you know what I love it I absolutely love it and the top one as well I'll show you where are we here the um, this material frayed really badly so as I was stitching here can you see it goes in a little bit um, it frayed at the top and then it hadn't caught in the zip so I had to go back but pull it right down away from the fray so it's got a bit of a can you see and bits of thread will just pull out that's where I had to unpick it but the line the material goes really close to the zip it still opens but it's a bag for me right we're gonna go get some lunch we're all hungry Josh is hungry Danny's hungry I'm hungry so we're gonna go grab some lunch I think we're gonna grab a subway it's raining <laughs> it's lovely I'm sat outside in it oh, it's so nice it's been really, really hot today. It's been 27 degrees again. Um, and it's just starting to rain now. The, the wind's really picked up as well. So I'm not sure if we're not going to have a bit of a storm, which would be really nice. But I'm just sat on the doorstep. It's so lovely. That was Finn kicking a ball, which hit the clothes, um, clothes proper upper. Oh, it's so nice out here. So we've had a really lovely day so far. There he is. Hello. You sitting? Huh? You sitting? Oh, I'm just enjoying the rain. Excuse the mess behind me. It's not a mess, it's just stuff that goes upstairs. That, the room. Finlay's getting his own room in a few weeks, so I'm starting to get all the furniture out ready for when Finn gets his own room. Hi. So at the moment, there is stuff everywhere. We were supposed to be decorating the kitchen this week, um, but I decided to hold off because I need to do Finn's room first. I can't afford to do both straight away, so I'm going to do Finn's room first. Breeze is so nice. It's lovely. So I'm just gonna make tea. It's far too hot to eat anything hot, so we're all gonna have like a bit of a picnic tea tonight, I think. Hi. You Did you enjoy season? school today? Yeah. You've been learning about the Great Fire of London, haven't you? Mm, yeah. Yeah. So we're outside all day today. Not all day. Not all day. For the afternoon, I better stop this vlog. So I bet that wind's really picking up on the microphone. I'll come back and talk to you. In a bit. It's eight o'clock. I am super late ending this vlog. Sorry, I've been all. I'm lying. I filmed the ending to this vlog about four times, and then kept thinking, "Well, that's rubbish. That's rubbish. That's rubbish. That's rubbish," and got myself in a right state, thinking, "I just can't. I just nothing I say is coming out right." <laughs> so I've had a little tantrum, and I'm feeling better. Um, I finished the Odyssey shawl. I am super, super, super impressed. For those of you that's not seen it, this is the Odyssey shawl by Hoki Locatelli. This is a free pattern on Ravelry. And she says, I started the design of this shawl during a trip to Canada, inspired by the green colours of the landscape. It was the perfect, easy project to keep me company on a trip that turned out to be quite an adventure. Odyssey is a crescent-shaped shawl in three colours of medium weight yarn. Each colour section ends with a lace band that features striking big eyelets and a wavy texture. Pick three colours to write your own Odyssey, Odyssey with this shawl. It is an absolutely fantastic pattern. It's a DK weight pattern and it's just brilliant. So I've done it in, well... The red one is the Stylecraft Special in, I think it's called Tomato, and the grey and the black, I believe, are both Women's Institute. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. It is my wingspan, if I can hold it correctly. So it is fairly big. I couldn't see how big it was until I got it off the needles. It's just gorgeous. It's got, I'll do this really quickly because it's so warm. Look 
can wrap it round and it'd be super, super cosy in the winter. It's just gorgeous and wow, that's warm. <laughs> and you can wear it, oh, sugar me. You can wear it like a shawl as well. It's just beautiful. So the pattern does call for a beautifully edged border, but I've done it in acrylic and I wasn't sure, I'll turn it the right way, how the border would sit. It's like um, a pico edge on it. So I added an I-card border. Sorry, there's a fly flying round. Go away, fly. So I've added an I-card. Can you see that fly? Is it just me? Am I seeing things? I think I might actually be seeing things. See what I mean when I've been trying to film the ending of this vlog? I've had this all day long when I've been trying to vlog. Everything I've filmed, I'm just telling myself it's rubbish. And, oh, anyway. I've added an iCard border to it to finish. And I'm so pleased that I did. It took a while, but it was so worth it. And I've given it a little steam block. I've not blocked it properly because it was too hot to have the steam on. But it's a little block and, yeah, I'm so pleased with it. I'll definitely be making more of those. So now I've got some needles free again. I can cast on the Miss May shawl again. But I may just wait till the 1st of July for that because I want to have a shawl for Ruth's make-along, which is the ATPS cowl I think I will put it on the screen so yes that is that um it's cooling down a little bit now we've had a little bit of rain not much I said earlier it was starting to rain and I was expecting this amazing thunderstorm and it just didn't happen we had a few spits of rain and that was that but it's certainly cooler than it was earlier much more Alex friendly the dog has been beside herself. She doesn't know what to do. I'm going to stop moaning about the weather because it's just you're all sick of hearing me moan about the weather. Um, yeah, I'm start. I've, oh, I'm, you know, I started the book. Oh, this book is *The Fallen* by T.J. Newman. It's a debut novel. At, I said novel again. Why can't I say novel correctly? It's absolutely brilliant. Oh. So I'm only at page 67. It is so, so good. I wasn't sure when I first started it and the first chapter I was like, oh, I don't know about this. But no, I gave it a chance and I'm really glad I did. It's fantastic. I've got my little bookmark in it, which I'm really, really pleased with. So that is going really well. So I'm just, I so want to just get into bed tonight, curl up with that book and just relax. I'm really tired. Um... So yeah, I've just been sat, that's why the vlog's late coming up, because I've been sat playing on um, Design Space. <laughs> I've made a, let me see if I can show you it. So this one I'm going to do for Jake's girlfriend. She is plant obsessed. She loves plants. So I'm going to make her a cup and I'm going to put this on. So I've designed this for her. Can you see that? I'm super impressed with it. So I'll do that at some point. Um, and that's it really for today. It's just, it's been one of them. So I'm sorry if the vlog's shorter or a bit boring. Some days I just, some days we don't do very much. And I was doing that bag for two and a half hours this morning. <laughs> so I'm going to go. I hope you've all had a lovely, lovely day. We are caught up on the squats the end of day 23, we are both at 2,100. My legs are okay, to be honest. Um, they're aching a bit now when I'm doing the squats, but for the rest of the day, they're absolutely fine. It's only when I'm doing them. And I'm getting them all done on the morning now when I get dressed all in one go, which is much easier. So, yeah. Thank you for watching, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow for day 24.